I usually save tool reviews for our every other month cool tools video series, and we do have one of those coming up in a couple weeks. But this is a unique situation. This is an all new premium random orbit sander from 3M, which is strange because 3M has long been known for making some of the best pneumatic sanders, not electric sanders. If you've ever worked in an industrial shop, you're probably familiar with 3M sanders. They're top of the line, but they were never really intended for the consumer market, and virtually all of them are air powered. But a while back, a friend of mine told me that 3M was coming out with an all new random orbit sander called the Extract, which promises to be of the same high quality as their industrial pneumatic sanders, but with an electric motor, and that was going to be available on the consumer market. So obviously, I wanted to try it out. Well, that was no small feat because they weren't available for sale yet. But Mike Taylor from Taylor Tools, which is a great small company and a supporter of our videos, he was able to pro procure some samples. It was all very hush-hush, couldn't talk about it. In fact, I had to share this sample with who a lot of you know, beat on this thing in his shop for a while. Then he sent it over to me so I could abuse it a little bit. And now it is finally time for me to share the results of this covert tool test because the sander is now available from some select outlets. In fact, I'll put a link below this video if you're impatient and you want to check it out immediately. Just expand the video description below or check the comment that I've pinned to the top of the comment section and you'll find a link. But I really recommend you watch this whole video first because this is unlike any sander most of you have ever used. It's not an exaggeration. If you have one of these, the common, I don't know, 60 to $80 sanders, which I've used for many years and I bet most of you have too, you will really notice a difference if you were to try this thing. It's more comfortable to use for extended periods of time. It sands faster with less swirls. It leaves almost no dust behind. And the quality of the tool itself is far superior to these consumer level sanders. Now these are some big claims. And while I admit some of it may be based on personal opinion, I have used a lot of sanders and I know what makes a good tool. So let me explain these four big claims one at a time so you know why I say what I do. First, I said that this is more comfortable to use. I have always hated sanding because these things are noisy, they're dusty, they're awkward and uncomfortable. If you've ever spent several hours running one of these, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because 3M sanders, are made primarily for industrial shops where someone may be working with it all day, every day. They know a little bit about ergonomic design. The body is sized to fit your hand. The tool is balanced with a low center of gravity so it's less tippy. It's easier to keep flat without stressing your arm. The body extends backwards to better support the heel of your hand to reduce wrist strain. The paddle switch on top is comfortable and so much more convenient for stopping and starting the tool than these push buttons and switches on the other sanders. It's also surprisingly light with just three pounds. It's significantly lighter, I think, than these other sanders. And there is noticeably less vibration compared to the other sanders I've used. It's also significantly quieter. We'll talk more about those things shortly, but those two features alone, the low vibration and the low noise level, will really change how you look at the chore of sanding. Now my second seemingly outrageous claim about the 3M Extract sander was that it works faster than these other sanders. Now that may seem strange, considering its top speed is about the same as most other variable speed sanders, but it's not about the speed, it's about the motion. Random orbit sanders feature two different simultaneous pad movements. The disc spins, but it also orbits in tight circles. This is what creates that random scratch pattern. And it's that orbit that sometimes is called a stroke that really determines how aggressively one sander may cut compared to another sander. Basically, the larger the orbit, the faster the sander removes wood. 
Now I tried to look up the Orbit specs on my two consumer level sanders. I couldn't find anything on the DeWalt. I also looked up Bosch and they don't list theirs either. But the rigid sander does list theirs. It has an orbit or a stroke of 330 seconds. And since my DeWalt performs pretty much the same, I'd guess it's around 330 seconds too. I believe the standard range of orbit for most of these consumer level tools is somewhere between that 330 seconds and maybe as high as 1 8th. Notice how the pad wobbles slightly as I power it down. That's the 330 second orbit of this particular sander. Now notice the significantly larger wobble of the 3M extract sander. That's a 3 16th orbit, about twice as much. This creates a slightly more aggressive cutting action while still producing a smooth finish. This is a delicate balance. Generally, the larger the orbit, the more swirls you may leave behind in your finished surface. 3M seems to have found a sweet spot for this sander by a combination of features, which we're going to talk a little bit more about shortly. But the end result is it cuts slightly faster with any paper attached. And when combined with their extract ceramic sanding discs, it really cuts down on your sanding time. I want to stress that last point. This sander will work with any 5 inch hook and loop sanding discs. They also make a 6 inch model. But I switched to the 3M Extract Discs a few months ago, before I even got this new sander. We featured them on a Cool Tools, I think, last fall. They are absolutely amazing sanding discs on any sander that you might use it on. I've used it on these. But when you combine the unique features of the Extract Discs with the features of the Extract Sander, well, you just have to try it to know what I'm talking about. I'll link to the discs below this video at the top of the comments. Just grab a sample pack and try them on whatever sander you have. That's all I'm going to say about it. Now a faster cutting sander means you're less likely to push down too hard in order to speed things up. Pushing down too hard with any orbital sander is a major cause of swirls that can ruin your finish. A sander like this helps eliminate bad habits. Now my third seemingly outrageous claim was that the 3M Extract Sander collects virtually all the dust it creates. Now to show you what I mean, I've laid out a black sanding pad so any dust left behind will be easier to see. I'm using a new 120 grit extract disc which will create a lot of dust and I'm going to keep the camera rolling so you can see what happens in real time. Now I don't know what sort of crazy internal mechanisms they have going on inside the sander. It plays a little tune when I turn it on. And there's a distinct wind up, wind down sound that hints there must be something going on inside it that's different from my regular sanders. Whatever it is, this thing sucks up dust like a vacuum cleaner. Now one obvious reason for the improved dust collection is the hole pattern on the bottom. Besides the standard five holes that will align with many brands of sanding discs, there are by my count 39 smaller holes. Of course, to fully take advantage of all of these holes, you need paper with a lot of holes in it, such as a mesh paper. But let me tell you, it is so worth it because it's during sanding that you expose your lungs to the most dangerous fine dust. Better dust collection also pays off in other ways besides your health, because that dust also tends to float around in the air for a long time, only to settle back down right after you've applied a wet coat of finish to your project. So eliminating as much fine dust as possible at the source can really change how you work. And finally, good dust collection eliminates another major cause of those swirls, dust buildup beneath the pad. So I think the 3M Sanders excellent dust collection is one of the reasons it can get away with that more aggressive 3 16th orbit while still leaving behind a smooth swirl free surface. Like I said, they seem to have found a sweet spot, a combination of features that just work for this particular sander. And as you can see, even if I bang the board to clear the surface, there's almost no loose dust left behind. It's really remarkable. And when you combine the lack of dust with the low noise, and the low vibration, you eliminate most of what makes the majority of us hate sanding. Now my third seemingly outrageous claim was about the exceptional quality of this tool. As I said, 3M has been making pneumatic sanders for industrial applications for many years. They already have an established reputation for quality. 
after using this electric version, I'm convinced it's no different. As I said, this sample has been beat on pretty hard and it's still smooth and quiet and comfortable. You simply can't make a sander with such low noise and low vibration despite that larger orbit without precisely balanced high quality internal components. That's a major reason why cheap sanders vibrate so much, even with their tiny little orbits. They just contain cheap, poorly balanced motors and other components. The quality of this sander is also apparent in all the little things, like the firm feedback I get from the sealed buttons, how cool the tool remains after aggressive use, and the 16 foot long cord, which is a real luxury that you just don't see on many tools. As you can tell, I'm pretty excited about this new sander, but to be fair, I should point to a couple small complaints I have. First, the long cord is great, but I wish it disconnected from the back of the tool like other premium sanders like the Mirka does. This just makes it easier to put it away. The dust port is also designed to fit a one inch outside diameter hose. So I need an adapter for my Festool dust extractors hose and I don't have one of those yet. So I had to improvise with some tape. There are adapters available. There are more coming really soon, I'm told. And believe it or not, the Rockler small port hose kit works on it. So that adapts you to pretty much any shot vacuum. So most of us are gonna be covered. I suppose the big question is, should you buy one of these new sanders? Well, if it's within your budget, I'd say absolutely. Woodworkers spend more time with their sanders than perhaps any other single tool. When one thing can so greatly improve such a large chunk of the time in your workshop, turning a dreaded chore into a much better experience, I think it's well worth the investment, but it is an investment. The 3M Extract Sander is comparable in quality and performance to the Merca or to a Festool sander, and that kind of quality doesn't come cheap. So it's not for everyone, and I'm certainly not saying you need to buy one of these to make quality woodworking projects. But it is worth pointing out that Taylor Tools, who again is a sponsor, has a limited stock of these that they're selling at an introductory rate of 30% off just until that initial limited inventory is gone. That is a big savings that I doubt you will ever see again. So use the link below in the video description or pin to the top of the comments before they're gone. You're not gonna see that price again. And if the sander isn't in your budget, that's totally fine. Don't forget you can still improve the results you get with your regular sanders by trying out those extract sanding discs I talked about. I'll link to those as well. Honestly, give them a try. You won't be sorry. I'll see you next time.